What's up guys, this is Anna Absolute. Welcome to my channel. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my entire perfume collection. Over 110 bottles, over. Yeah, pretty sure like a couple, I don't know. I had my dude count them. So, you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> <sighs> but um yeah so over 110 so we're gonna get through these i'm gonna do be doing uh, i'm gonna be doing a full-on declutter so i'm hoping half of this i know i'm saying half now but once i go through i'm not gonna want to put anything away i already know um, we're not going to, I'm going to try not to do too much explanation. I'm give you the name, blah, 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 if I like it or not. What's going away? So, um, a lot of these that are going to be decluttered, I'm going to put on my Macari. I'll put my Macari information in the description box. So, please check that out if you're interested in any of these. Guys, I'm not really trying to make money off you. I just want to get rid of this shiz. Um, I, of course, I want to try to get my money back on it. But if it doesn't sell within a day at my asking price, dude, lowball me. I'll accept your offer. I'm trying to get rid of this stuff. Okay, cool. Anyways, guys, oh, yeah. Oh, let's go through it. So here we go. Here we go. Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm sorry, that's how I talk to little children. <sighs> yeah, that's how I talk to kids. Anyways, embarrassing. <gasps> Okay, where are we going to start? I guess we're just going to start right here and then we're going to move our way around. Um, my camera is at a different angle. I feel weird about it, but we're just going to go with it. Um, I try not to get my big buff arms in the in the shots, but um, y'all might see the guns today. So <laughs> anyway, something gold is like a sweet patchouli. It's actually really, really good. And I got it for a steal at Burlington. So you might be able to find this cheap. Oh, I don't want to sell it. It smells so good. But I did kind of mess it up. I kind of messed it up. Anyways, guys, this is good. That's good. It's just a sweet patchouli. Um, this is Girl by Pharrell Williams. This surprised me. I would like, this is a fancy celebrity scent. Um, it has iris and then the sh a sharp sheep. It's like a sheep bra. Um, yeah. Will I ever wear it? Probs not. But I want to keep it in my collection because it's very unique um, for a celebrity scent, especially. Um, I got this from my mother in law uh, a couple of Christmases ago. I obviously haven't used that much. Guys, this actually reminds me a lot of... So this reminds me a lot. These remind me of each other. This is Calvin Klein Euf Endless Euphoria. It reminds me a lot of Victoria's Secret Love Star. I'm going to keep Victoria's Secret Love Star and donate this one. Um, this one's more sweeter and I like sweet fragrances. So, oh, it still smells good. Oh, and I remember that... Um, endless euphoria kind of giving me a headache so that is being donated or sold we'll see brazilian crush staying in the collection guys oh i didn't bring out all my little testers and all my um travel sizes and all that other shit this is just full bottles yeah so let's see um nude this is too nostalgic for me so i'm keeping Probably never gonna wear it again, but keeping. Isimiyaki's original. This literally smells like a sexy ocean mermaid. Cause it's salty and dewy. And just, I love this one. I'm keeping it. Yeah. Um, Alien, oh, extraordinaire. I got this because of Paulina. To me, this smells like a fresh alien with pen and pencil shavings. And I'm keeping it. It smells freaking great. Guys, um, Jean Charles Brossier. This is Ombre Rose. This is a soapy, beautiful, fresh rose. Not fresh like 
like green fresh, more like fresh powdery. Oh, yeah, but so I got this one and I really liked it and I thought I could wear it to work. But since we're really decluttering and we're really trying to get rid of stuff that we're not going to absolutely wear, we're, I'm talking about myself like I'm more than one person. Freaking crazy. Freaking crazy. <laughs> we're, guys. We're talking about us. My name is Unity. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so Ombre Rose. It smells really good. Very classy. Um... But I, my favorite powdery work scent, fresh powdery work scent is JLo Glow and will always be probably. Guys, if you don't know about this, smell it because it's good. Okay. Oldie, but a goodie. JLo like changed the game with this fragrance and for good reason. It's good. So I'm going to donate this one. I just see myself wearing that one more. And plus it says rose in it. I'm okay with rose, but I don't absolutely love like the hand. I don't want to get rid of this. I'm all trying to talk myself into why I don't like it, but I like it. Okay, we're going to sell this one. This one's good, guys. It's really good. Really, really good. Oh, except can someone tell me? There's like little the orange balls floating in there. Anyways, why? Why is that, huh? Um, I just got this Yves Saint Laurent's Mon Petit. Um, I got the hair mist. I haven't got a full worn of it. Worn of it. I haven't got a full wear of it. It smells very familiar. Guys, what does Mon Perry smell like? I have it in my collection, I think. Hmm. It smells very familiar. Anyways, keeping. I just bought it, so I'm not getting it. Not getting rid of it. Saints by um, Kat Von D. I got this like super duper cheap. And I think they still have them super duper cheap on Sephora because I think they're getting rid of all her shiz. Didn't she go crazy or something? Anyway, Saint is like a beautiful peach fragrance. I'm keeping it. I like it. And then Saint is like this or Sinner. Yeah, she's pretty badass. I like her. Yeah, anyway, next, um, Oud Asoluto by Valentino. We're donating this. There, this um smells like your regular Oud Rose leather combo. It smells good to me. It smells like um permanent marker, <laughs> but I like it. But I've just smelled so many better ones um since you know exploring niche. So I'm gonna donate. Not donate. I'm gonna sell this one. This will be on my. This is actually already on my Macari. Nobody has bought it yet. So if you want to go freaking blow, just lowball me. I don't care. I'll give it to you. Anyway, yeah. So I want to get rid of that one because I want to get better ones that are like the, of the same kind. Anyways, guys. Um, this is Coconut Nana's. Guys, I'm so pissed. I knew what size it was when I bought it, but I didn't care. I had to have it. But when I how much I paid for this and this little thing showed up at my door, I was a little pissed. I just wasn't mentally prepared that the bottle was going to be this small. The smell is bomb. So, you know, who freaking cares? That's just so freaking small. Anyways, they didn't have the bigger one so I could buy it. Buy. Anyways, that's keep, 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 keep. Um, Hair Mist, um, Toka Hair fra Fragrance, Flor Florence. Basically a bomb, bomb, um... Why am I forgetting the words? Gardenia fragrance. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay, Lacum. Oh, super duper comforting, powdery almond and honey. It's freaking bomb. I love it. Wrap yourself up in this shiz all winter long. This is what I'm gonna be wearing all winter. I already knew it. Already knew it. Calypso, fig you. Yeah, I broke the shiz, the top of it. Guys, I really like this one, but so, guys, so I'm gonna try to sell it, but look, the cap is in here. I got it out once or twice with pliers. If you really want this, it like retails for $70 on um 
what's that hippish hipster store? Anthropology? Yeah. Right? I don't know. What else? One of those freaking stores that are overpriced and ridiculous. Anyways, yeah, that, so, um, I'll be selling this for really cheap though if you guys want it. You have to figure out how to fix that, but it's good. It's a fresh fig fragrance. I like it, but I have a lot more new um, fig fragrances that I love even more. So when we get to those, we'll get to those and I'll talk about them. Anyways, um, Divine Vanille. Mm -hmm. We not getting rid of this. This smells like an apple cobbler with hella cinnamon. Okay. It's freaking delicious. <sighs> And you just smell like a whole snack. So that's staying. Staying, staying, staying. Okay. Um, gold sugar. I love gold sugar too much. I'm keeping it. Guys, um, gold sugar is like very citrusy on opening and then like melts into this creme brulee butter on your skin. I like it. It doesn't work for some people, but it works for me. So anyways, um, peace, love, and juicy couture. Keeping... It's a fresh green, fr slightly green. Like I said, it smells like Vert Bohem by Tom Ford. Like a um, sweeter version, a more wearable version in my opinion. I really like it a lot. Britney Spears Private Show. Smells like a caramel latte. Doesn't last long, but it was only like seven bucks for this. Seven or 12, I don't know. Real, real cheap. Except I got it as a tester, so it doesn't have a cap. Usually, I don't buy fragrances. I don't buy testers unless they come with a cap. Because I hate not having the caps. But they only had the tester with no cap, so I grabbed it. <sighs> Anyways, let's try to get through these. We have so much more to go. And there's... I forgot. Why am I forgetting your name? Ugh. I'm going to come back to her when I remember her name. I don't remember her name. I had to literally restart this video because I kept, I forgot her name. And then I spent like two minutes trying to think about her name. Anyways, yeah, Gelato from Be Layered. Guys, I like this one. I'm not sure how to describe it. Mm. Um, Be Layered describes it as um, ice cream. It smells like ice cream. I think it's a mix between some citruses and cr and a creamy note but not ice cream but i really love it i i can't i wear this one by itself they um they like made it a part of like their layering um i wouldn't say line but options like to layer with but i like wearing it by itself it's so good and i actually haven't worn it in a long time so just spraying it now makes me miss it i'm glad we're doing this guys i'm so glad because I haven't messed with a lot of these fragrances in a minute. So, let's go. We know we're not getting rid of this one. Another Paulina recommendation. Mm. I talk about this a lot on my channel. Y'all check it out. This is bomb. Okay. Um, Next. Aqua di Parma Iris Nobile. I wear this to work, guys. It's so beautiful and it's bright and the iris isn't so powdery in this like um like usual, but it's really good and I really like it a lot. Okay. Um oh, another iris fragrance. So Athalia. I almost was going to choose between Iris, Nobile, and Athalia, like to only keep one because I just have a lot of iris fragrances because I love iris. But guys, um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to get rid of both of them. I love Athalia and that one just too much. And they actually are very different. And that's how I told myself I can keep both of them. So guys, Athalia is like a set, like a woody, sexy iris. Because there's this amber um, on the dry down or even not even in the dry down, but right away, that's just like super kind of sensual, not too sexy. Like you can't wear it to work because I wear it to work, but very classy. But, you know, she's a bad girl. She goes home. OK. Yeah, anyway, I like her a lot. Um, that's like, I think, grown woman sexy. Yeah. Anyways, um. 
work sexy. Um, Shams Oud by Memo Paris. I had a tester of this one since like last Black Friday. Yeah, last year. And I loved it. And my friend, um, G, I'm going to put his website information down below. He sent this and another fragrance to me. I'm trying to find the fragrance, guys. Oh, here we go. Um, Austin's, Austin's um, Impressions Rose Oil Esparta. He sent me these two for my birthday. He's awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm going to link his information down below because he's a real one. Who's... He sends me fragrances on my birthday. Come on, come on. Yeah, guys, Um, this is a Udi um, root beer or Coke. One of those, one of those sodas. Yeah, and it's really, really, really sexy. My dude wears this one a lot and he actually just wants to keep it. So <sighs> whatever, we'll see. Guys, and then this Austin's. Um, Impressions Rose Oil Esparta. Freaking good. Good as shite. This is like an herbally rose. It's really good. I really, really love it. And it lasts a very long time. And I'm just like, I'm looking at this fly that I need to get rid of. We'll see if it goes out. Anyways, um, I've had this forever. Burberry Brit. It's a good set, not sexy, but a good um, sensual vanilla. It feels like a um, like those chunky knit sweaters. That's what I think of when I smell this. Guys, I probably won't ever wear this ever again. So we're going to sell it. I just have so many now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for real. I know, you, it, but it's not you, it's me. If you change, it doesn't matter because I still don't want you. Okay, fine, bye. We'll see if these actually make the sell list. Serendipitous by Serendipity 3. There's one. Yeah, so Serendipitous, Serendipity 3 by, Ser, or Serendipitous by Serendipity 3 is a super sweet and delicious fragrance that I layer a lot with Divine Vanille, so I'm not getting rid of it. The lasting power is not great, but it smells super duper delicious. Guys, I think, I feel like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna smell like food and I'm not gonna crave food. No, I crave it more. <sighs> Good. Sorry for my sound effects. You like them. I know you do. Yeah, anyways, um, Mancera Paris. Mancera Paris. I guess that's what its name is. Anyways, Mancera Pearl. Keeping <sighs> the fig in here is like the, it's either the leaf or the tree. It's super like crisp and fresh. Mm, I get fig and musk, and I love, love, love fig. So this is staying in my collection forever. Forever. Yeva, J-Lo, Miami, glow. Everyone knows what this smells like, so I'm not going to describe it. Oh, it's so good. Sweet. It's powdery. It lasts forever. Projects all that jazz. It's great. J-Lo is not messing with her fragrances. I used to have, I think Still was my first perfume. Still. And I don't remember what it smells like, but maybe if I did smell it, I would. But yeah. Anyways, no one asked. <sighs> uh, Olympia Keeping. I wish I got the big size. Freaking A. The Jasmine mixed with the vanilla. Bay vibes for real. Okay, definitely keeping Korloff Gold. Guys, I needed to make a correction because I said this was a dupe for Terracotta. Well, I didn't say it was. I said that I read it was. And um, it's similar vibe I heard from the Fragrant RN on IG. I will link her below. Um, she is the homie. She is cool. Anyways, guys, um, 
she said side by side they're not in they're not it's not a good dupe for it this is still pretty but it's not a good dupe for terracotta i need to get my hands on terracotta as you guys know it's discontinued and expensive as shite now but we'll see We'll see, I might still need to try it. But what this is a better fragrance for is Bronze Goddess. This is better than Bronze Goddess and fairly similar in my opinion. So check it out, Korloff Gold. Guys, am I gonna link all these fragrances below? Maybe. We'll see. Mm. Um, La Vie Belle. By Lancome. This little sweet patchouli cookie, vanilla cookie. I'm gonna keep it because it's such a freaking classic. This is like this shiz. This bottle is old from years ago. So I'm keeping it. Who knows? Might be able. I mean, well, anyways, I'm just gonna keep it. It's a classic. I gotta keep it. Right? Um, be layered first kiss exclusive guys. I don't want to say this. I don't want to say this, but I have to say it because I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm just keeping it real. So first kiss um, exclusive is a dupe for Delina exclusive exclusive by Parfums de Marley. And this literally is a hundred percent match. Just this has better projection. I'm keeping both of them, but you don't need both. I'm just keeping both of them because this bottle's cute as shite. And yeah, this has better projection. So yeah. Okay, so we're keeping those both. Dude, why I haven't remembered the other part from Marley? The PDM's name. Why? Why haven't I yet? Why haven't I remembered your name yet? It's freaking ridiculous. Memory. Anyway, Fancy by Jessica Simpson. It smells so sweet and good. Sweet and good. Mm, I really do like her. Am I going to keep you? I never wear her. I think what happened was, is I bought her in a haul with like five other fragrances. And of those five other fragrances, two of them I wore a lot. So I never really actually reached for her, but she is beautiful. Um, I think I'm gonna sell her. I don't wear her. Yeah, I don't wear her. Oh, she just shouldn't have smelled it. You know what? It smells. No, they're different. Damn it. I'm keeping them. Keeping them. Whatever. I'm never going to wear her. That's what makes me mad. Mm, but she smells so good. Okay. Okay. You can keep it as a sideline chick. Okay. Um, Fantasia. Fantasia. By Anna Sui. Keeping her. Love her. She is pink pepper and a little raspberry and a little woody. Mostly pink pepper though. Sparkling pink pepper. This is Elixir de Mar... Marville something, something, something by Hermes. Um, I have another one from this line. Where are you? Yes. So I'm only going to keep one of these. I think I remember liking this one better. I My nose isn't working that good lately. So which one should we keep? These are very similar. Um, these are like a peppery. Cardamom. Very, there's a lot of cardamom in here, peppery. There's something else. There's some other shies in here. I'm gonna keep this one. We're gonna do, we're gonna sell this one. Oh, I don't even want to sell you though. I remember liking this one a lot. 
Um, not not a safe blind buy. Not a safe blind buy. You have to like spicy scents. Oh, shoot, I don't want to give you up. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know all the words. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not giving her. Not. Nope. Nope. Guys, I said we were gonna really, really, really. Sorry, I'm just gonna like. Please don't tell me you broke. Please. Okay, so, um, Scandal. Blood orange and honey. Who was wearing lipstick and smelling this because they left it on my cat? Ugh, keeping, it's freaking good. It's freaking good. I can't deny it. It's freaking good. Taj Sunset. <sighs> nope, I have a better, um, mango fragrance i'm gonna sell this one but i really like this one guys this is like a spicy mango mostly mango smells a little stop hey boys funa funa My door, my window's open and the kids are playing outside. So anyways, um, La, Mia La Perla, um, this is really pretty soft fragrance. I haven't gotten a lot of wear out of it. I, I just bought it in a freaking shopping spree. And my friend Jennifer Latifa, she's also here on YouTube. I'll link her channel below um recommended this to me and i really like it i just haven't gotten a full wear of it so we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it until i can get a full wear of it and yeah guys alien essence absolute not only am i gonna keep it but i'm gonna finally tell you guys what the hell i think about this and um the other alien i actually prefer this over alien um does that mean I'm going to donate Alien? Hell no. Because um, Alien, Alien is, just, is just a freaking classic. And I have to keep it in my collection. But I honestly prefer Alien Essence Absolute over Alien. I feel like it's more wearable. And it's actually just more me. With, just with the added vanilla, um, it I feel like... Alien's a little bougie. It's a little stuck up. I'm not that way. And I don't wear fragrances. And I don't dress up on the daily. And um, when I do dress up, it's more of like casual but nice. So it just doesn't match like the way I dress. It doesn't really match me. Alien. But Alien Essence Absolute definitely does. Ugh, the Jasmine is still that alien jasmine and i love it i love 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 this one like it better than this and keeping both of them um next um beyonce heat rush is one of my faves has been for years definitely keeping um shiseido zen is really pretty hmm. very crisp very elegant. I am going to give it away. I don't wear it. I just don't wear it. I just do not wear it. So that is going away. Oh, de Hadrin by Anna Anik Gutal. Smells like lemongrass and just fresh lemongrass. Oh, and I freaking love it and I'm keeping it. Dude, this video is going to be long. I need to hurry up. I haven't even gone through half of them. C, keeping. Um, Angel Muse, keeping. Guys, let's just go through the ones I talked about a lot and say whether I'm keeping it or not. Um, this is like not safe. I was going to pull the blanket. It's not safe. It's not safe. <laughs> Okay. Pink Sugar, keeping. Delina, keeping. Um, Insolence, my God. Freaking keeping. It's freaking delicious. 
Um, keeping for sentimental reasons. Smells just like teas, war teas all the damn time. Sexy, fun. Um, C. Fiore. Fiore. Keeping. Smells pretty good. Like candy. Oh, I haven't talked about with the one in a while. Anyways. Keeping. Narcisa Rodriguez for her. One of my favorite sheep bras. Um, Paris Hilton. Every time I smell it, I just get so many memories. But I also have a travel size of this. I'm never going to wear this again. So I'm going to give this away. Probably to my niece who lives next door so I can smell it whenever I want to. Um, Perry Ellis 360. This is like a, a nice floral. Sweet floral. Keeping, not oh, keeping, keeping, keeping. Um, creme de nude. To me, this smells like melted vanilla ice cream with a little droplet of root beer. I really like it. It's really pretty. Um, but my sister-in-law loves this. She wears this more than I do. So I'm just going to give it to her. We have too many. We have too much here, guys. We have too much here. Um, tease glam not as good as tea so we'll just give that out try to sell that um we're keeping dolce garden mm. love it um clean reserve solar bloom i haven't talked about this recently but when i first bought it i talked about it a lot freaking love this shite so good it'd be super duper sexy on a man the only thing that sucks about this is that longevity is not there but with more natural fragrances that is just how it's gonna be so you you just deal you deal um ellie sobs le parfum the resort collection this is neroli this is pomegranate sweetness at first i didn't think it was that special but now smelling it more and more i actually really love it i haven't smelled the original so don't ask for any comparisons but this is pretty good um will i wear it though yeah i actually have worn it the only thing that sucks is i really love neroli and neroli doesn't really last so that goes away fast and then you're left with the pomegranate but i don't even Okay, that's on, that's on, what's the word I'm looking for? That's on probation. That's on probation. If um, next time I wear it, it's not great, we're gonna get it, give it away. Poison Girl Unexpected, definitely freaking keeping. I freaking love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, this is a new one, Angel Mugler. Um, I want to say crescent roll, but that is not, definitely not correct. I'll put it on the screen. Ah, oh, croissant, some shiz. Guys, I got this because of Becky, Rebecca Collazo here on YouTube. And the, literally the mango in this is similar to the mango in this but it's a little um, better quality. So we're gonna keep this one, donate that one. Oh, this is good. I'm getting rid of villains. This is super duper old, so we're just gonna get rid of it. Um, I finally got Poison Girl back in my collection. I just kept talking about Poison Girl Unexpected and I really missed this one. So I just grabbed her in preparation for cold weather. <laughs> Because she is bomb and she is beautiful. Um, si pasione, guys. Si pasione on the first spray smells like um, smells like this and teas. It's very very similar. Um, but this is more soapy and fresh in comparison to where this is kind of deeper with caramel. There's no caramel in here and this is a good one. I'm keeping this one. 
Calypso. Oh, this one is Mimosa. I really like this one. I don't wear her. I don't wear her. Okay, we're gonna donate. We're gonna donate. No, I wanna keep her, I wanna keep her, I wanna keep her. Okay, guys, this donation is not going great. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Decluttering. This video is gonna be long, we gotta hurry up. Victoria's Secret Bombshell. I love this and I don't care, we're keeping it. Hardcore Rose. I love that one too, so we're gonna keep her. You don't need her. You don't need her. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If I find a better rose, I'll get rid of it. Sensuous by Estee Lauder. Guys, I ordered this late at night on Macari. I thought it was Sensuous Nude. It's not Sensuous Nude. It's just Sensuous. Definitely not even very similar at all. I don't like this one, so I'm going to try to sell it. It's actually already on my Macari. If you want it, please take it away from me. Lowball me. I'll give it to you. Um, heat and heat something. I'm definitely keeping heat. I always get um freaking compliments when I wear heat. I think it's that sexy amber. This, I feel like it had like a chocolate note in there. I'm not sure. Dude, I'll put the name of this on the screen. I don't really remember. So yeah, let's just donate that one too. I don't wear it and I'm never gonna wear it, so just keeping it real um hugo boss i don't know what this is called but it's um a fret it's a fresh fragrance um i got it from burlington so i just bought it and i don't I think it was special. It's just a floral. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna sell it. Um, I'll keep it because I need to try it some more. This is a really bomb um orange blossom fragrance. Oh, guys, if you haven't tried um Extraordinary by Oscar de la Renta, Extraordinary Petal. Super good. Um, it's super light. You definitely need to overspray. Um doesn't really project or anything, but super feminine and pretty. And I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, Victoria's Secret Fabulous. Oh, I like this one. Guys, I used to rock with Victoria's Secret tough, tough. But now that I'm exploring into other fragrances, um, I definitely notice the difference um, in quality and kind of that Victoria's Secret what they do is they make scents that are popular and kind of just do their own little versions of them. Or just like, um, whatever, I'm not going to talk shiz. I don't have time. Anyways, we're going to give it to the neighbors <laughs> so I can still smell it when I want to. Um, Versace Crystal Noir. I feel like... This is like a stuck up woman who's just kind of like, there's nothing wrong with being stuck up. I love stuck up women. I think they're great. I think they're hilarious. This just doesn't smell like me. So, yep, we're going to sell this. We're going to sell it. Oh, I don't want to sell you. I like you, but I'm just never going to wear you. We're going to sell you. Um, Jimmy Choo, Fever. I would say that this is my um, perfume that started my fragrance journey because before um, choosing this one, I bought and returned four other fragrances and then I chose this one. The only thing about this now is it smells very similar to Love by Sofia Vegata and Bon Bon. And actually Bon Bon is better to me for what it is. So I'm going to donate. I'm going to sell this. But the, what sucks is I bought this for 60 bucks before I knew about Fragrance Net and Fragrance X. Um, David Off Cool Water. Guys, this smells really freaking good. Okay, keeping it. I haven't worn it though yet, so, but I'm just going to keep it. 
um 47 keeping y'all know i'm keeping this oud jaune intense um keeping paris knights supposed to be similar to mon Paris. i'm probably gonna sell this let's sell that yeah eve's parfum is um a dupe for a joe malone fragrance peach wow i'm freaking my brain is not working we're keeping it <laughs> Um, Nikolai Fig Tea is a sweet, like the actual fig fruit fragrance. Ugh, freaking love it. I freaking love it. Wish I had a big bottle. Will get a big bottle if I ever use this up. Um, yeah, definitely keeping. Why? I still haven't remembered her name. Ralph Romance. Ugh, keeping. Keeping. Too, too many memories associated with it. Flora by Gucci. Keeping. Oh, so good. So good. Um, Molecule 04. Keeping. Teas. Because um, this one smells exactly the same. Just lasts longer. We're going to keep this one. We're going to donate that one. Okay. We got a few we're donating. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to give this one to my mommy. Because it smells like her. Like what she used to wear when I was a kid. Um, Midnight Fantasy. We're going to give that to my mom. Guys, my mom's still young. My mom had me when she was 17. So she's like only 40-something now. She's still young. so, And she dresses like younger than me. So she'll freaking be really cute with that one. Yeah, anyway, um, let's see. Why am I forgetting your name? Am I forgetting your name? Um, Bronze Goddess Azul. Guys, I really like this one, but I think it's, I just like it because of that Neroli and the Neroli only lasts like 30 minutes. And then what's left of this fragrance is really non-existent to me from the few times I've worn it. So this is on the to watch list. We're going to keep an eye on her. We might give her away eventually. Um, Moonlight is good. I'll just keep it. <laughs> um, Sir Zoutan's Feminite Dubois. This smells like Pepsi. Like a spicy Pepsi. I feel like it will be really like hot on a dude. Like I would love to smell a guy that smelled like this. I'm going to keep it. Um... I'm probably never gonna wear it though, so stay tuned. We might declutter this one later. Guys, where the F have I been? Because womanity is the she it. She it. This is fig, fig, fig. Fig fruit, fig leaf, fig tree, and caviar. I don't really smell anything salty from the caviar, but. All the different fig in this is just, I love fig. I love fig. This is like a good one. This like, so the fig fruit in here kind of comes off like um, coconutty, like a, like a, like a mushy coconut, a sweeter coconut. Yeah. Anyways, guys, how am I going to describe it? We don't have enough time. This is good. Keeping forever. Um, Trezor Midnight Rose. I got this from my little bestie. My little bestie. She's like, don't call me little. She's taller than me. <laughs> got this from my bestie here on um YouTube. I did my first, was it my first collaboration with? I think so. Yeah. Um, perfume rum. I'll link her down below. She gave me mid Trezor Midnight Rose. And guys, this is a very beautiful jammy rose. Um, the only thing I think with it is when I smelt it is maybe since this has come out, there's been a lot of copycats since or that a lot of fragrances just smell very similar like this to me. So it wasn't exactly special, but what they did with the fragrance, it is really, really good. It's really good. High quality, lasts forever. 
I'm keeping it. Especially since it was a gift. For my friend. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, they're about to start falling. They're about to start falling. Okay. Stuff in it. You're keeping Chanel Chance, obviously. Um, Roberto Cavalli, Gemma di Paradiso. Keeping, 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 keeping. This is like a pear woody bombness thing. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but it's pretty good, dude. I'm a bad friend. So the reason why I got Gemma di Paradiso was because of Amber Chantel. I'm gonna link her shiz down below. Thanks, babe. I love it so much. Carolina Herrera's good girl. Am I ever gonna wear you again? Okay, there is a note in Roberto Cavalli, Gemma di Paradiso, that smells very, that is definitely in Carolina Herrera's good girl. What is that note? Please, someone please tell me in the comment section, please. I wanna know what the similar note is. Um, because of that note, that, that note in here is pretty much all I smell in Carolina Herrera. It comes off like very pronounced to me. I don't know if I'm going to keep you, boo. I'm going to, I'm going to give her, ah, no, uh, I'm going to keep her. I'm going to keep her. Yeah. Forget it. I can't do it. Dang it. I probably can't get rid of any of these other ones either. Selena Gomez's fragrance. The bottle is so ridiculous. But the smell does smell like um, Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret, which I was looking for. And thank you guys all who told me about it. Um, yeah, I'm keeping it. It smells great. I think I might give it to my mom because my mom loves that smell. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, keeping, obviously. Um, keeping Black Opium Nuit Blanche. So sexy, so sexy. Um, Club de Nuit by Arm Off. Mm. This is a smoky vanilla, rose and vanilla. To me, it literally smells like a hot girl smoking a cigarette. Like, this is probably what I smelled like when I used to kick it all the time. Anyways, keep it. I don't smoke cigarettes, but everyone who kicks it smokes really. Um, Lulu. I love this one. Keeping. Cloud by Ariana Grande. Classic. Keeping. Um, Escada. Keeping. Oh, this one is Island Paradise. Guys, this video is going to be long. Clinique's. Calyx. Guys, I really like this one on first spray, but um, it smells like a papaya on the first spray, like the body shop. Um, body butter cream it smells just like that on first spray but as it dries down the the highest sith in it really gets more pronounced and it's more green on dry on the dry down i like it i'm keeping it i don't know why i was explaining it like i wasn't gonna keep it um I, virgin island water duh keeping i love love duh keeping um un hadin sur Lenil, definitely keeping my green mango fragrance. Bronze Goddess Au Fresh. Korloff Gold smells very similar but better, so we're gonna give that one away. Um, Black Opium, never getting rid of, ever, ever, ever. This is a dry oil for Black Opium. Also smells delicious and good, never getting rid of. Actually, they just, they're about to discontinue it, so if you guys want some, get it. Ah, uh, Rihanna Rebel Fleur. My best friend bought me this um, for a birthday in our early 20s or maybe teen, 18, late teens. Keeping, keeping. I have to go look at the box and be hella moated. Hold on. Meliora, duh. Anyway, Smelliora, keeping, obviously. It's amazing. I'm um, Armani Code Cashmere, keeping. Okay, so out of that, 110. Um, We're keeping, we're giving away, slash donating, slash selling. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
Damn, is that really 20 or do I not know how to count? We're getting rid of 20. Okay, I'm gonna do better next time, guys. We're gonna do better next time. <sighs> Bye, guys. Um, thank you. Love ya. Check um in the description box for my Macari if you guys wanted to buy any of these. Yeah, I want to get rid of them, so take them off my hands. Um bye guys.